Allah Almighty tells us quite clearly that whoever strives towards achieving the goodness of this world, we will give it to them. You worked hard to achieve the goodness of this world, we will give it to you. Listen, verse number 18, Allah says, مَنْ كَانَ يُرِيدُ الْعَاجِلَ عَجَّلْنَا لَهُ فِيهَا مَا نَشَاءُ لِمَنْ نُرِيدُ Whoever wants this current life that you're in right now, you know, that which is right now, and strives towards it, we will give whatever we wish to whomsoever we wish from amongst them, we will give them. And in the hereafter, they achieve nothing. They didn't believe in it. They didn't want it. So if someone says, listen, I'm not interested in the hereafter. I don't even want to know what happens to me after I die. I'm not even interested. I don't even believe in it. I just live my life. I want to enjoy it. And that's it. Allah says, we may give them that enjoyment. And then in the hereafter, they get nothing. They didn't even believe in it. They weren't even bothered to try to understand. They didn't even want to know. So that clears for us something very, very big. We are reconnecting with revelation in order to understand why the transgressors and the disbelievers achieve a lot in this world. Allah says, because they strove for it. They worked hard to achieve it. And we decided we're going to give it to them. You want the world? We give you the world. But in the hereafter, there's nothing left because for you or you didn't believe in it. So you see a lot of people who are far away from the Almighty. They, they are not even bothered about the hereafter, but they're enjoying this life. How? Well, because Allah decided it's okay, they're working towards it, we give it to them. Anyone who works hard to achieve anything, they may achieve that thing. So Allah says, yes, we may give it to them. Now, Allah says, in the hereafter, they've lost. They will be cast in the torment, in the punishment in what's known as Jahannam, in hellfire, etc. All of that is there. So these warnings are delivered in the Quran. They're delivered in revelation. But at the same time, the Almighty gives the good news. Allah says, وَمَنْ أَرَادَ الْآخِرَةَ وَسَعَى لَهَا سَعْيَهَا وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنْ فَأُولَٰئِكَ كَانَ سَعْيُهُمْ مَشْكُورًا Whoever intends the hereafter and works and strives towards it, then, subhanAllah, if they're believers, Allah says, their striving will definitely be met with gratitude, with a reward, with paradise. When you strive, it will be met with that paradise. So, when I fulfill my five daily prayers, the Almighty doesn't guarantee me the best conveyance and good business and a healthy job and a fat salary and everything else. But he says, you are working towards what here? You're working towards the hereafter. We'll give it to you. The others worked towards the world. We may give it to them, even if they don't believe in the hereafter. So that's why Allah Almighty says quite clearly in verse number 19, وَمَنْ أَرَادَ الْآخِرَةِ Whoever intends, whoever has aimed at the hereafter, and strives, works towards it. And they are believers. They believe in the Almighty, in the hereafter. Allah said, you know what? They won't regret. And then Allah says, Kullan numiddu ha'ula'i wa ha'ula'i min ata'i rabbik. You know, the giving of Allah, the distribution of Allah, the wealth, the sustenance, the goodness that comes from Allah. He says, I will give these and I will give those. So for Allah to have given all parties does not necessarily mean he's pleased with them in this world. When Allah's given someone a lot of the world and money and holidays and happiness and meaning a type of joy where they have beauty and the whole world, they have the millions and the billions, it does not necessarily mean that the Almighty is pleased with them. He says, we've given them. مَا كَانَ عَطَاءُ رَبِّكَ مَحْظُورًا You know, the giving of Allah is, it was not going to be prevented and stopped. It's up to Allah what He wants to do. So He said, we give both. So we may give these and we may give those. But Allah says, انظر كيف فضلنا بعضهم على بعض Look at how we have raised some above others in virtue. Look at how we have raised some above others in virtue. These people might look downtrodden on earth 
but we've raised them in rank because they have earned the hereafter. And these people look so high on earth, but we have dropped them in the hereafter. They didn't work towards it and they will have nothing there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَلْآخِرَةُ أَكْبَرُ دَرَجَاتٍ وَأَكْبَرُ تَفْضِيلًا Indeed, the hereafter is greater in levels and the hereafter is greater in virtue. What he is saying is, people work for this world, others work for the hereafter. Some work for both, preferring the hereafter. Some work for both, preferring this worldly life. Allah says, well, we give all of those, we give all of those, but bear in mind the hereafter is far better. The hereafter in another verse, Allah says, is everlasting, which is there. And Allah says, it is greater in virtue. You want to work towards something? Work towards the hereafter. And Allah Almighty actually tells that to us.